Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back with a new video for you all. On February 15th, the electrical grid in Texas came to a complete and total halt. Snow and cold, on the other hand, were the most common and severe weather conditions throughout the last few decades. Millions of Texans were forced to shiver outside in the brutal cold since their homes were unable to be heated due to a chain reaction of unfavorable occurrences that ended in their homes being without power and heat. Temperatures dipped well below freezing all the way to Texas coast, freezing Houston at roughly 32 degrees Fahrenheit for nearly 48 hours and shattering an uncountable number of records across the frozen plains. Record low temperatures were reported in Tyler, negative 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and Longview, negative 6 degrees Fahrenheit, while the Texas Panhandle experienced a bone chilling, negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. The power disruptions that occurred in Texas were only partially caused by frozen wind turbines. Many individuals were quick to blame the electric emergency on the gigantic turbines that make Texas the most innovative state in the United States in terms of wind energy. This included a few well-known individuals who have been outspoken in their opposition to climate change. Even though some turbines were rendered inoperable as a direct result of the intense cold, snow and ice, the weather hampered nearly every potential source of electricity. The frozen components were by far the most significant contributor to the broad disturbance. Thermal plants which heat water to make steam and convert it to electricity were forced to shut down due to the failure of these components. The use of natural gas is used to generate electricity in the vast majority of those thermal power plants. Furthermore, the South Texas nuclear plant experienced frozen pipes on Monday, forcing the plant to be shut down. As a result, the Houston area's power supply was much more severely disrupted. Furthermore, the problem was compounded by a number of variables that are unique to the state of Texas. The majority of Texas is connected to a power system that's not reliant on grids in the western or eastern regions of the country. The Lone Star State refers to Texas. This is a strategy that has been used for decades to avoid interstate regulation. Yet, it limits the flexibility of the Texas system. The state's unregulated, just-in-time energy market also plays a role in the crisis as it relies on output rather than storage, a problem when natural gas pipes freeze and allows for huge price hikes during weather disruptions. Both of these elements add to the issue. According to the conclusions of analogous but less detailed investigations conducted following freeze disasters in Texas in 1989 and 2011, a large portion of the blame should be placed on equipment that was incorrectly secured against extreme cold. Dangerously low temperatures are a rare occurrence in Texas, but when they do, they're notorious for their severity. According to a report provided by the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission and the North American Electric Reliability Commission, several of the generators that had interruptions in 1989 failed again in 2011. The long-term temperature pattern plainly indicates that the rate of additional warming will accelerate. According to data produced by Climate Central, a non-profit organization that conducts research and communications, the coldest temperatures throughout the winter months have been gradually climbing across the United States, including in the state of Texas. The fact that the climate is warming does not prevent the possibility of more frequent and destructive winter storms. Although this view is not commonly accepted, it is plausible that reduced sea ice and rapid warming in the Arctic are intensifying at least some mid-latitude cold spells. Although this hypothesis is not commonly accepted, it is a possibility. The scientific world is currently involved in a heated debate about this hypothesis, which has been going on for some time. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's video and found it informative. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe and turn your notifications on. Do comment about what kind of videos you would like to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Be safe and adios.